Yeah, yeah, clear those controls, dude. Yeah, you, not, you do not want none of that. What's up, everybody? Um, these are the matches right that were streamed side? from this okay. monthly's local uh, HHG tournament okay, okay, uh, this past okay, Saturday. Okay, okay. Um, coming into that this first sense. match, I had a buy, okay. so I could have scouted my opponent first. And what I noticed was that he requested the second player side. Um, so once my turn came up to play against him, I noticed he requested it the second player side again. So that's why you see me uh, playing rock, paper, scissors for the second player side. I end up winning. Uh, so I ended oh, up taking it. The so so there right then and there, uh, he's on his uncomfortable side. So, I'll take that, I'll um, I'll take that so yeah, so from pretty much from <laughs> there, right. it's just a matter <laughs> of <laughs> seeing <laughs> what he could do and what he can't right, do. Because so from the here. scouting match that I that I saw, he wasn't doing anything outside of the normal that any Claudio player would Try would do. Uh, he was using know, Claudio's hop kick as a panic move. Uh, pretty much every single time he got placed into a 50-50 right, mix-up. So that was my game plan from the start, which was just put him in those situations and let him hang himself oh, because his overall game. defense this wasn't good. Oh, so I pretty much played the blocked. whole plus frame game, really. Yoshimitsu just like if I attack and it hits, I'll damage. follow up with another Almost attack that he cannot panic attack letters. through it. Yes, we are. So that's why you see me do a lot of down forward ones, a lot of down forwards, while standing fours. Um, and then I can pretty much see and follow this game plan until he proves that he can handle that metagame. So as you see during this first match, it's pretty straightforward. I know I drop little combos here and there, but it's fine. The second match was more of the same. He was just hanging himself. He really didn't know what to do much, most of the time. Um, and that was just pretty much a pretty straightforward match. You know what I'm saying? That's like getting mad because you jumped in the pool and you got wet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so for the second match, we end up getting the Devil's Pit. Um, but in reality, the stage was an, was a non-factor. Um, I already knew that he was starting to panic through the attacks, just based off the last two perfects. So in this match, I was actually able to be a little bit more aggressive than I was on the, on the, on the previous set of rounds. So that's why you see me Look end a lot of strings. With that mask on. Just, ah, ah, so right at the gate, he's starting up. That initial low parry, I believe, was a, just a misinput on his part because he didn't even follow up. All right. So here's a little bit more spacing. So there, that was a counter hit launch because he tried to mash through it. That was an accidental jump on his part, but saved him from getting hit. Shit and there he starts hanging himself again by doing a random hop kick. Good shit. Right, and here is where the where I got lucky and when I did the meditation backflip, he sidestepped and blocked. So that made my throw attempt guaranteed. And he never proved that he could break him, so luckily I won that one that way. So now here is where I start seeing he's getting overly anxious on the buttons. He he himself is finishing the launch punishable strings and trying to interrupt stuff. And there he tried to duck and ate the mid. Oh, I'm getting feedback now. Awesome. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. There, I got the read on his big sweep. Even though I dropped the combo like a boss. And here I just start doing it. Start doing the the, the patent ten string. And yes, yeah, nothing. Like I said, it's nothing glorious in this match. It's just a lot of whiffing on his part. Now for the next match, uh, I get to play Prophet Noda. He's one of the newer guys that's part of my offline training partner circle. Uh, he's a Warang player. He is transitioning onto playing stick mainly. So with that said, uh, I know that he's he prefers being on first player side. So that's why I ask him, hey, do you want... Let's play rock, paper, scissors for the first player side. He agrees, and with a very stern, ice-cold face, he beats me. And he keeps his first player side, and I jokingly say, then expect a lot of throws and position changes. Which, in reality, was an odd factor, but it was a good way to get him off, off the mind game of the game itself. It's like, you like have to give him... The little victories, you know. He won rock, paper, scissors. He dictate he dictated that part of the match. 
Gotcha. And the thing is, like, I have a lot of warring experience, and I'm very comfortable playing against them. Uh, just because of the DR and Tekken 6 days, where I used to play Daniel Phoenix a lot. And he pretty much taught me how to handle warring. Because when he would beat me, he would tell me, yo, I'm doing this and this and this because you're getting hit by this and you're trying to step this direction and whatnot. So he would teach me what the holes are in all of Warang's things. And luckily, he hasn't changed that much since Tekken 5 DR and Tekken 6. So, so I'm very thankful for all that experience. So now the first match we end up getting is a random temple. And he actually ends up getting good mileage out of that one boring punch where he does a sidestep and punches with with the with the mid punch that gives a counter hit uh, juggle. He was using that in the right situations. Alright, so here in the beginning of the match itself, um, I just want to see what type of approach he was going to do. Because he normally tends to whiff punish a lot. So I was going to see if he was actually going to try to flip it up a bit. Try to be a little bit more aggressive. Or if he was trying to, gonna try to play the same game again. So there I catch him with a down forward one because he was trying to be overly aggressive. Um, I know from the warring experience that that second punch from that string tends to whiff a lot. So I took that advantage and I threw a jab in there to regain the, the advantage. And that was his first opportunity to introduce the armor move into the match from the basic while standing 4-4 setup. So from my testing, I know if I just do a, a down one jab, I'm safe. And here he gets up incorrectly, blocks my get up spring kick, which gives Yoshi a juggle. And he knows not to get up immediately at the wall against Yoshi. So he stays down for the for the Oki hit. Uh, he didn't break the throw, which is kind of surprising. So I just took that as an initiative to keep on attacking. And he threw a skyrocket kick. So I just did a quick poke for the win. So by doing the one to one string there, it proved that he, one, is too anxious, and two, doesn't know that string often because that string is mid mid high. So now here we're just doing basic pokes back and forth, spacing. I overextend, which is pretty much the first point in this whole set that I overextend, and it causes me to round. So now here he's he's trying to play the old game of just trying to whiff punish. There we trade blows. He rushes in too much, so he ended up eating the spring kick, and I get a juggle again. Oh, uh, that was a miss input on my part. I had to end that one to one string, otherwise he would have gotten the full juggle. And then at the end of the round, he was just trying to trying to get the last poke in to win the match, but the Kinshu reversal kind of nullifies a lot of that. So now we end up getting an infinite stage for the last one. So Max is excited for us. Boy, we've been waiting for this all week. By this time, I kind of can tell that he's getting impatient with the with the attacks, so that's why I'm getting the counter hit, full crouch sweeps. And then there's that panic back punch. So then there's here's me throwing the the patience tester of, of Yoshi strings, and since he's not ducking and punishing it, he's trying to attack through it, which is the worst idea. 
So there, that was good on his part. He blocked the back two and did back. Oh, it's not back. Warang's back four. I think it's back four. I remember the input. And he gets a counter hit launch. There he's overly impatient again. And I quickly steal a turn. There, there's that back punch again. It trades. And here I was hoping that he would do one of three moves to close in the distance. The wild running three, the up forward three plus four, or the bazooka kick, the the peacemaker, or whatever it's called. Um, luckily, he did the slower of the three, so I was able to see it better. And I get the rage art for the win on that one. And I was just here a lot of a lot of random books, to be honest. There was no methodology. I was just testing his his patience more than anything else. And then, then there was the panic back punch again. And then me just testing patience again. Because I had the life to lead because he wasn't launching anything. So that was kind of a free game for me to finish up that string. Now this is my first set against Limit. Uh, this time, Limit came to came at me with a different uh, a different version of play that he normally does against me. So here at the start of the match, you'll see it. he was actually getting really good reads and spacing out all my button attempts. So I already have one whiff throw and one whiff four four two. Granted, he didn't get the optimal punishes, but there were enough. So here I'm just testing, see what he's gonna do. There I missed time the back two. Because I was trying to get the back to one to counter hit between the hell sweeps, but I did it too late. And then here, this is a move that he hasn't been doing against me ever. So I was not expecting him to attempt that. So here he's doing a lot of turtling, a lot of back dashing. He gets a good read on my jab with a 4 4 2. Here he tests my throw breaking. I break it, it's fine. There he gets overly aggressive and I drop a combo because that's what I do. And then my one of my bad habits is the back turn down four. So he kind of knew that. Punished me. He went for an armor move. I punished. And a lot of spacing back and forth. Just pretty much a lot of spacing back and forth. Here he messes up, gets overly aggressive, but I drop a combo because I did not expect the wall to be that close. And here, I was trying to tie the rage art with a normal get up kick, so I was waiting for him to side roll. But it felt like he didn't side roll get up kick. He just side rolled. So I was like, so I thought I messed up, but he still pressed the button afterwards, and I ended up getting the win. Here's just more spacing now, back and forth. I noticed that he's approaching a lot with down forward one. So I'm trying to outspace the down forward one. It doesn't always work. And here I tried to flash too late and I end up getting counter hit. And since he was being overly aggressive, I just did a wake up knee. I dropped the combo early to not give him rage. It wasn't a mistake because I didn't want to give him the opportunity for just to steal the match, really. And as you, as you can see, I'm doing a lot of sidestep blocking, mainly because it makes a lot of little things whiff here and there. There I blocked his 4-4-2 slightly off axis, so I was able to punish it better. 
fucking on him. That Jesus walk just turned. Uh, and there he just overextended, and I got the counter hit read on it. All right, Anchor takes the first step. He's like, where did that come from? Where did they do that at? <laughs> All right. Now in this next match, we end up getting an infinite stage. So now on this one, I decided to flip the tables on him, and I try to be overly aggressive. To see exactly if he was going to react accordingly, but he was just, I don't know, he just wasn't blocking, so I, it quickly took 50%. There I overextend, and I get launched for it. It's not a full juggle, but it's enough. And then there's his panic down for 1 plus 2 that worked. He gets a juggle, tries to go for Oki. And I think he takes this one. Oh, no, I'm the one that takes it. Okay. Like, I was lucky enough to just do the short juggle into Rage Art, which is kind of like the higher damage version of the combo, just because it's damage scaling. So now here I'm just trying to play with a broken rhythm as far as my dashes and when I attack. So you see like a lot of weird timing as far as me dashing and sometimes attacking or dashing, waiting, and then attacking. There I got the read on his entry. I went for the Yoki setup. He didn't budge though, smart enough. So here he's just doing a lot of back dashing, a lot of spacing. He's trying to catch me ducking. I'm not budging. So here he's just trying to catch me pushing buttons. So he's being overly aggressive with the electrics. I think he takes this one out. Yeah, he takes this one. So there's another sidestep block. That makes his, his attack with. I get a, a quick poke in. Here he's being impatient. Doesn't block the following hits. There I block the one with two and do the worst punish ever. And he was a really dumb part of my because I see him back dashing. Why would I even attempt a, an Indian 3 attack? But I go for it. Get punished accordingly. There he gets a good read with the 4-4-2. Alright, so here I'm just testing to see if he wants to duck low. Oh, he doesn't break a throw. Doesn't want to get up, so I take my Oki hit. So now he's being hesitant on when he's going to push a button. Now that one setup I always do, where I try to bait the the spring kick if i go into kincho and they do a spring up kick a normal spring up kick i can hold forward and yoshi will go under it like you saw there what i should have done was the, was done the launcher instead of the, the one plus two but oh well as it wasn't tech rolling i went for the reset there and i do believe i go for it a couple more times because i noticed he wasn't tech rolling at all There I was not expecting him to get hit by the launcher. Uh, then I missed and he beats me I believe here. Yeah, cause I, yeah I tried to do the Kincho reversal and I was too late on it. Right 
to the next match. At the jungle outpost. Now in this match, um, I was hesitant on the first round just because somebody pressed the home button. Like trying to sync the controller somewhere, so I, was, I, I didn't know if I should attempt to finish, to, to like play Super Series the first round. Because the home button would have killed the momentum. But Limit didn't care, he just went in. So far in this, I believe in this entire round, Limit gets really good reads on my lows. And he has a blow pairing up a few of them. I believe here is where I, I just get annoyed by him just attacking constantly. What was it the next round? We'll see. Yeah, I don't know why I went for a throw punish instead of my jabs, but hey. So there he was overly aggressive, got counter hit for it. I drop a jungle because that's what I do. He was getting up incorrectly there. Yeah, see here he gets the little parry. And I believe he wins this one. Yeah. So now down two rounds, I decide to be a little bit more aggressive. He's continuing the trend of not tech rolling. There he tried to move after a block down forward too. Not sure why. So far it's just a lot of safe pokes. Here I catch up with the back two two, go for the Yoki. He ends up getting up and attacking or something. Cause that would never launch regardless. But I'll take it though, so. And there I get the read on his dial back two. He's getting a lot of accidental up backs, which are saving him luckily. And here I drop a combo because, like I said, that's what I do. Here I decide to be overly aggressive because his back is at the wall. And I drop another combo because I was not expecting the wall to be at that weird angle. And there he pushed the button because he got counter hit. We end up getting another infinite stage for the final match. And this time I decide to just play a little bit more compact and bank on him not tech rolling a lot. And there's my habit of back turn down four again. Bunny meaning ass. So there he is, being overly aggressive, getting counter hit. He instantly goes on the defense and eats the unblockable. Luckily there, that 4-3 was a mistake because I wanted the meditation stance. But he dashed in and I don't know what he decided to go for. So I just did a hop knee just to cover any, any down back twos if that's what he was going for. There I get a get up three, get a combo I believe. Right 
there he gets a good read on my down forward too. Punishes me for it. Not a full juggle, but hey. Here I just want to do a quick position change. And I catch him pushing buttons three times in a row. There he gets a good read on my down forward one. It's side step electrics. Drops a combo, but... And then I decide to not go for the slide mix up for some reason. Not sure why. That would have been an opportune time because he wasn't tech rolling. There he gets the, the read on my obvious low. There he gets a good punish, but drops the combo, unfortunately. Still gets the round, though. There I do the wrong punish yet again. There he gets a good read. I don't know, down for one plus two. He's trying to catch my entries with electrics. There I'm gonna say that was a mistake on his part, but it worked out. There's just an unfortunate spacing on my part. That was like I believe that was the first time I did the sword sweep in the entire tournament. And it failed me. So there was the one to one throw again. He is not paying attention and not ducking it. This time he waited for me to try to throw him there. That's why he didn't attack or anything. And he ate the low after the flip kick spin. Keep me from moving with up with the four fours and the four four threes. And at the very end he decides to overextend with the jump kick out of nowhere. Now the next set is Grand Finals against Limit again. Okay, so let's see here. If we get to switch the screens, that's why it's showing that weird format. But this time I decided to play a little bit more compact than I did the last set. So you can see we do a lot of down forward one. There I catch him and try to interrupt the down forward one. I am upset I gave up the position change, so I threw him, knowing he's going to break it, just to switch positions again, to keep him back on the wall. And there I was hoping he was going to push a button, but he just stepped in correctly and didn't block. There, a good sidestep again. I punish, but not with a launcher, but with a back 2-2. Two -two. There he gets a good read with the electric. I missed the punish on the hell sweep. There he's being super aggressive with the electrics. I'm just trying to keep it keep it down forward on him. 
to keep him from back dashing all day. There he gets a good uh, jump kick. And he just didn't block after that. I don't know why. So here I'm continuing with the simple pokes. There he's being overly aggressive and he ate the counter hit. Crouch dash too. Gave me a wall set up afterwards. He tried to step against the whole being and he got punished for it. So here I go again, testing the patience with the string. There he gets really close to beating me. I think I steal it with a down four, I think. Oh no, he steals it with a down four. There I get impatient and I try to flash too late and I get punished. There's just a lot of spacing happening to be honest. There the good old fashioned tech roll setup always works. There I got the read again on his down back too. Now for this one, we get the infinite stage yet again. Here's going to be more of the same, just quick pokes to test each other. You can see I'm doing a lot of down four ones to keep him in check. That was the first time I attempted a sidestep one in like a really long time. There, he got a good read on the low. Here's just a lot of spacing happening. Um, he's being overly, I don't know, how, I, I wouldn't say aggressive, but he's just trying to outspace me but, and not really punish me. So I noticed him hesitating quite a bit. And I just go, I have the life to, to gamble on. Here he, there he goes, being overly aggressive and trying to attack. And the crush dash to high crushed. Same thing again here. I, I crushed with a sweep and I get my launcher. He's refusing to get up. So that's going to be playing a big part in the next round. Because he's refusing to tech roll. And that's what you want to do most of the time. Well, not most of the time. Some of the time against Yoshi. So there I catch him. Trying to be fancy with wave dashing in. Uh, there's the first of the resets. I catch him being impatient and he gets counter hit. Dragonfly 4. And I'm just going ahead keeping the pressure on him. There I catch him with the, med uh, with the meditation canceled sword sweep. Well not really the sweep, it's the dawback one. Then he's being a little bit more aggressive now with the forward threes and the axe kicks. He gets a good read on that low. He's messing up the electrics, but they're playing out, I guess, for him. They were catching being impatient and like always drop my combo like a boss. I stopped the combo early. To not give him rage because he was really close. I don't think it plays out for me in the end. Yeah, he ends up taking the route.
Just me keeping a lot of mints on him. Oh, the down four, down one two trade. Or the one two trade, sorry. As you can see, he's being super aggressive with the electric skin. I catch him ducking there. Oh, not ducking, he pushed the button, I think. Same thing there, kind of entering with the knee. And he does a tech roll, so I went for the reset. There, catches my whiff really good there. He did not get overly aggressive there for once. After eating, did that back four. Oh, there, I caught him at trig. I dropped the combo. He's getting good mileage out of the back four. I think it's back four. There, I get a float juggle with the up four three. And then down four. That usually leads to a good 50 50 afterwards. As awkward as it looks. There, I, I was being overly aggressive, trying to catch it with a flash. There he goes again, up back four. At this rate, I think it might be on purpose. It's pretty much just us brawling back and forth. Here's the old fleet test of patience. He passes it for the most part. And then he gave it up on the spring kick. Like I was not going to rush in there regardless. And then I take the whole tournament there.